Greetings, friends and enemies. Welcome back to Art by Fan. First of all, um, I'd like to apologize for the fan noise you may hear in this video. I'm not sure if it'll pick up or not, but um, it's hot in my apartment and I don't want to turn the fan off to record because my computer just makes it that much hotter. But again, apologize for that. But anyway, uh, we're moving on to the piece. Do you guys ever have one of those art pieces that you just fight with? Like every step of the way and this piece probably wasn't every step of the way because the sketching was good i did it on a live stream i think that's archived on my channel somewhere i did the sketching on a live stream and i did the line art and it came out great and the base colors were a breeze and but then when it came to shading and the background and it's just Ugh, it just fought me the entire freaking way and it drove me bananas because in the middle of this, in the middle of trying to finish this beat, it sat on my hard drive for two weeks uh, because I just, first of all, I couldn't bring myself to finish it. It was a massive undertaking to my mind, apparently, um, but I, I couldn't finish it. So I sat on my drive for two weeks and then I decided, you know what? I need a video for this week. I'm going to just pump this out. I'm going to finish this. Um, and it wanted to fight me the entire way. So initially this piece was supposed to be for um, Amanda Elise's make bad art kind of dealie. Uh, but I don't, I'm not as happy with this piece as I could be. So I don't want to use a piece I'm not, or a redraw I'm not happy with for the make bad art thing. I'd rather do something I really enjoyed making and doing and use that. But technically it was for that. This is a redraw of a piece I did in 2006, I believe. So that piece is over 10 years old. Um, and you'll probably have seen it if you watched my old art tours, my Golden Oldies series, you'll probably have seen the, uh, the original shot at this piece, but this is me redrawing it 10 years later. But anyway, the characters featured here are Jaku and Benira, my two OCs. And um, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Uh, these two, for so many years, were kind of kept at arm's length romantically, but I just love them being together. And I love that I, I, I finally let them be together and I can draw them being all schmoopy and stuff and it not have like some sort of tragic underlying thing. It's just them being cute. So um, that's what I did. I found the original picture, I came across it and uh, I wanted to redraw that one for the Make Bad Art. And I kind of have mixed feelings on using that picture because at the time, I didn't think it was bad. I guess that's the whole point though, is you don't think your art is bad, but then when you get older, you see that it's bad. The Make Bad Art movement for me is more about, it's okay to make art that's not great here and now. Um, not every piece is going to be a masterpiece. Not every piece is going to be easy breezy beautiful to finish um like this piece wasn't um but you know you gotta make bad art to make good art and i'm, I'm a really big proponent of the make bad art thing i keep meaning to get a sticker but i just haven't done it yet but that's that's sort of where the feelings came from on this was that at the time i didn't think the original piece was bad art but looking back on it yeah i made some bad art and uh with this particular piece like i said it fought me the entire way like well, I take that back. Post line art, it fought me. <laughs> it wanted to fight me. Like, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was my mindset because I'm going through this phase right now where I'm not happy with the way I color digitally. Like, I don't know. It's, I'm not digging the shading, the way I do shading. I'm not, like the line art, I, I love how I do line art. I'd like to have more line weight. Um, so I'm going to make an effort to do that. But the way I shade and color, it just, I don't know. Sh shadow placement and shaping is just, not something I'm super happy with at the moment. So it's kind of, this piece was kind of in limbo, partly because of that, partly because I didn't want to finish it, and partly because I had other videos scheduled around the time I started working on this. So um, yeah, that's sort of why it ended up not being up for so long, because this was done like last month sometime. But I, I managed to push through it long enough to find an acceptable medium for this piece. Like, I like it well enough. Uh, I did end up making some tweaks to the line art, uh, post this uh, video because I did as you can see there the difference in her eyebrow and her expression is a bit softer Than it was before like last time she kind of had this. Oh, yeah, okay expression But this one is kind of another schmoopy there in love sort of expression and in the end I do like this piece but I just didn't like the pain it put me through um, but yeah, so I moved on to shading now majority of this piece is shading and line art Which I feel like that's most of my videos, but the way I do things like I said just doesn't focus on color enough That's why I'm thinking about adding uh, Putting base colors back in 
just so that I can have like that little pop of color in between and we're not seeing you know black white on black on white on blue for you know four minutes of a video four minutes of a nine minute video no five minutes of a nine minute video and then like two minutes of <laughs> of actual color and me playing with that so um this had a lot of footage because there are two characters in this picture um they had a lot of footage for, for me working on both of them so i ended up chopping up um line art segments and um, shading segment so you just kind of get the gist of what I did and I lengthened the um, uh, the color tweaking phase so you guys can see more of that oh and you can saw my computer crash there and that was my overwatch background oops well it's in here now I'm not cutting it out <laughs> but more on the um the make bad art thing I guess was that was like I said that was my main um, inspiration for this piece I know on the if you cut the live stream that I did this on uh, you'll you'll have seen the original piece already, and like I said before, if you've seen um, any uh, of my golden oldies, like the 2006 golden oldies, you'll have seen this picture before. But like I said, I really enjoyed it at the time, and I really wanted to reach out again to sort of show myself that every now and again you gotta show yourself that you can improve. But it kind of backfired on me because I'm also in this creative funk with my art, but. Yeah, like, I'm probably just rambling at this point. Like, why do y'all, like, do you guys mute me and listen to your own music? I'm curious. Like, I don't, I'm not mad if you do. <laughs> I'm just nosy. Like, do you guys mute me and listen to your own music? Do you listen to my rambling? Um, I know I tend to repeat myself a lot, so I'm trying to put a stop to that. <laughs> because who wants to hear me say the same things over and over again? Nobody. Um, it's also during this piece that I finally bothered to change my paint tool size settings so that I could just use the fill bucket tool. <laughs> In Photoshop, um, I usually do. I, I usually don't like the f the fill bucket tool in Paint Tool Side for some reason. Then I was like, why? Why don't I ever use this? Why don't I just draw the shapes in instead of coloring every little bit of it? Um, so I finally bothered to do that. Like I am a creature of habit, I guess. Even if it's the hard way, I'll continue to do it the way I've always done it. Like you can see here on his cape, they're just straight lines. There's no need for me to color them in when I could just paint bucket them. So here, moving on to Photoshop for the final bit of this. Um, of this video you'll see me do a lot of like I said tweaking to the colors and stuff and the the where I leave off on this is much much different I, well it's not much different you'll be able to see like uh, the how much detail went into the background and how much work went on with that <laughs> because I, I was I did record it but it was just so long and so much footage and I spent so much time fretting and worrying and arguing with myself over it that I just decided not to include that footage because it just, it didn't add anything to like the piece or anything. It's the same with recoloring the line art. I don't feel like it adds anything to these videos, but I guess if you guys are interested, I could start putting that in. I don't know. Uh, one of the reasons where I was talking about where I'm not too happy with my the way I do shading is it's just so harsh on their faces. And I've tried to, um, like soften it and blend it out and you'll see that on the finished piece that I do just that and it looks okay but it also sort of stands out from the rest like I'm taking an approach to shading that I would take with like pixel art uh, where I just sort of build up the color it's hard to explain it's hard to explain that's what I feel like I feel like I'm coloring many like digital pieces like this like I would do pixel art to sort of get that blended look with smaller images but just doing it on a grander scale and I'm not a huge fan of it so <laughs> I don't know this is just me having an internal argument with myself about my art and you can see there I turn on the highlights and they're all white and they look bad <laughs> but I you know I, I shade them in and get them all nice and colorful but yeah like I just I'm not I need to study more about light placement and figure out how I want to do things in this cell style because it's not it's not great for me right now I'm, I'm hating I wouldn't say I'm hating it I'm just not liking the stuff I'm putting out and it's really it's real frustrating all when you got to put out art every week and you don't like the art you're making it makes it real hard and I don't want it to be real hard I like to make art and I like to make videos and I want to just be happy with the stuff I make but we should be shifting on into the old piece here in just a moment there it is there's the original piece I drew over 10 years ago and here is the finished piece that I've done recently so if you like what you see don't forget that like button you can leave a comment if you want more from me you can always subscribe and ring that little ring-a-ding bell right there to get notified every time i upload a video thank you guys so much for watching Bye bye